time now for Positively Tennessee and the ongoing battle to fight drug abuse. One group in Roan County pulling out all the stops, working, networking, using social media and special programs to make a difference, helping all age groups, but really focusing on kids. Behind it all is the Roan County Anti-Drug Coalition. Let's see how they're helping. Horse, try to feel your horse. There's nothing like the feel of dirt beneath your feet. A horse at your side under the bright lights of an arena fit for the finest rodeo. It's kind of like driving a car. You don't want to turn the steering wheel before you kind of get the car moving. In this case, it's the Expo Center at Roan State Community College, part of the Roan County Anti-Drug Coalition's partnership with the nonprofit group Life Reigns, offering horsemanship lessons to young people in the juvenile justice system. Teens like Laura we can't show her face, but she was willing to share her story. Basically, what my story is is that my parents divorced like September of 2018. We moved out. I hit a really rough patch and I didn't want to go to school at all. I wouldn't come home because my mom and I were fighting all the time because I felt like it was her fault. Working with the horses, you have to kind of get in touch with things that are deep within that might be getting in the way of, say, uh, things that you're experiencing in life. And so through working with the horses, what you get is an opportunity to learn those communication skills and to kind of bump up against your own uh, inner troubles um, as you're trying to partner with this horse and get this horse to do things that you'd like for the horse to do. It's all part of the coalition's effort to get the community involved in helping troubled young people turn their lives around. Behind these new partnerships is this energetic team, Nathan Ray and Ashley Freeberg. Both are prevention coordinators with Rome County's Anti-Drug Coalition. They not only set up programs like the therapeutic horseback riding classes, they are there watching the action. You'll also find them on social media going live for the cause. Hey everybody, we're excited to be here at the Roan State Expo Center. We're not just, you know, hanging out with kids. We're doing something that's effective with them um, and, and teaching them different strategies to use. And so uh, we use it really well, I think. And we show the community how we can partner with them. We can yeah. make, um, partner with all aspects of the community, whether it's faith-based or certain businesses or like Roan State. Probation officer Denard Bertram says it takes people working together to make a difference in the life of a child. The one thing people need to know about juveniles is we always say that it's not a punitive court. It is a rehabilitative court, so we want to rehabilitate. So anytime that someone from the community can sh give their time and attention to our children, that's mainly what they need. For Laura, it seems to be working. And I feel like I am doing better. Oh, they're doing such great work yeah. out there. It's amazing the power of, of horses. They're, they help so many kids work through problems. Yes, and they said it takes the uh, onus off of themselves. They actually pay attention to someone mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Uh, if you'd like more information on how to volunteer in programs the Roan County Anti-Drug Coalition supports, just go to our website, wate.com. Be sure to check the As Seen On section. They could use some volunteers.